championships, taking a look at the teams as they approach the starting area. As they approach the starting area, as we're uh, figuring out, uh, uh, seem to have lost my audio here. <laughs> India, there we go, okay. Our apologies, folks. Uh, India, Vita World Ranking at number three, qualified at the number four position, defeated France, Denmark, and the number one ranked Korean team. Uh, they're facing on target number two from Italy, Jessica Tomasi. Natalie Baliba. Ivana Sartori defeated Georgia in the tiebreaker, Chinese Taipei and the People's Republic of China. FITA world ranking of number eight. They qualified in the number three position. But more importantly, both of these teams have a shot at a gold medal performance here at these 2011 World Archery Championships. And uh, Allison, I guess it's safe to say a little bit of a uh, home crowd favorite for the Italian side of things. Uh, it could be both a positive and a negative, though, considering the pressures of competing in your home country. But from a positive standpoint, you talk about the uh, you talk about the fan support in this, and uh, it's going to be one-sided in this affair. Uh, I think, yeah, they'll, they'll have the uh, the crowd behind them. It's a it's a it's a good feeling when you you shoot well and you, you get a good cheer. Um, it's interesting to note that Valeva, who's shooting now I think uh, no she's going to be shooting last this is Jessica um, Valeva was on the team that won the gold in 99 okay. back in Rio so she's she's been in this situation she's probably one of the most experienced archers absolutely in and the it, competition it's and kind of one of those scenarios where they could probably use her experiences as, uh, as a, a little bit of help in this sort of pressure situation definitely I, I've seen her more this year helping um, her, you know, her teammates in yep. the individual competition as well. It's interesting you say that, though, because a, a lot of times, and, and by no means am I trying to uh, retire her, but but uh, you do see a lot of uh, past athletes become coaches uh, because not only they, they love the sport, they but they want to stick around and continue in with it. Uh, it's uh, You see that almost throughout various countries and... Uh, Nevertheless, we see it here with some of the competitions this morning. Italy finishing up with a 26 of a possible 30 points. And India finishes up with 28 of a possible 30 points, holding a slim two-point lead. Here in this gold medal matchup, Eight. the Recurve Women's Team event. Jessica, who's shooting now, she's also um, a very good field archer. She's been a world champion. Nine. Do you see a lot of that between uh, the um, different uh, types of archery? Some countries, I think more of the Europeans and maybe Americans, yep. who see the crossover. Um, really doesn't make for much of an off-season, though, does it? <laughs> <laughs> it is tricky to fit it all in. I think it is difficult for, you know, um, in Great Britain, you know, leading up to the Olympics. Yep. The target becomes a focus for, for those archers that do both. Nine. Should mention that uh, the, in the recurve women's uh, event, uh, no team from India has ever reached the podium at a world championships. Italy won the silver in Beijing and uh, won a world title in France in 1999. They've met seven times before with a small advantage for uh, the Europeans at four to three. Last two encounters were in favor of the Italians with wins and porridge back in 2010 and Shanghai in 2009 at the World Cup. 
However, the team from India can uh, count on their confidence as they were the ones that upset the Koreans, as we mentioned earlier in the semifinal. And Allison, if you uh, defeat a team like Korea leading to this, it's, it's almost uh, the feeling inside as an athlete that, hey, if we could beat them, we could pretty much beat anybody. And, uh, and that's uh, the situation they find themselves in here this morning in the uh, gold medal finals against uh, Italy. Yeah, if, uh, but if you look at the scores, uh, the India shot to get to the to the gold medal match. The semi-final against Korea was a, quite a low-scoring match. The Koreans, uh, I don't think, have ever shot that low. Um, the Italians, after their their tie break with Georgia, which is quite a controversial um, match. They shot two really back-to-back -back scores. In the quarterfinals, they shot a 219, and in the semis, a 221. Yeah, with, excellent scores. With wins against Chinese Taipei and the People's Republic of China, sets them in the position they are in right now. Mm -hmm. So we know they, you know, they can produce, produce the good scores when it counts. 6 arrows are in the books. As we see uh, some of the fans here, the capacity crowds. Just a uh, outstanding day as far as uh, weather conditions are concerned for the audience and we are about to start the second end here of this gold medal matchup of the recurve women's team event. Italy will shoot first. Entering this second end, uh, India holding a slim one point advantage. Eight points. You can hear a little bit of a hush of the crowd after that eight point uh, effort. The Italians have, have yet to hit the ten, so. Not getting any better as far as uh, scores are concerned. A nine, an eight, and a seven for a 24 of a possible 30 on their first three shots. All drifting slightly to the right. Of the gold that end. I don't know if the wind has picked up a bit. We There's can't feel it here where we're sitting. But and I was going to ask you that is that perhaps mm. a factor? Because we. I'm trying to see the wind suck on the, the right hand side of the field to see if it's moving. Um, None of the flags across from us uh, seem to be moving too, too much, but uh, but nonetheless, as you mentioned earlier, it's, it's different when you're on the starting line. Mm. You know, we, we don't quite know exactly. The kind of scenario they're in. They've increased their lead to three points at 77-74. Ten. Ten points. You can hear the roar of the crowd. That's their first 10 of this match. Final shot of this end for... Nine. Team from Italy, and they finish off with a 10-9-9, 52 of a possible 60 points at this end. 102 points so far. Now we turn our attentions to target number one with India with their last three shots of this end. Easy, confident. Nine. 
इसका ऑपोजिट सीधा मारिए लो Potential three point lead coming up with Rosario if she shoots a turn. And an eight. And the final arrow is an eight. One point lead for India at the halfway mark. It'll be Italy. This one's very tight. One point lead for India. We'll reach the halfway points, and Allison, uh, because of some of those mistakes, it's uh, it's definitely uh, a brand new contest now uh, with uh, with 12 arrows remaining. This is. Uh, the gold medal is still for the taking Definitely. for both of these countries. I think Italy finished their last three at that end were uh, all in the gold. So might just boost their confidence confidence a bit and with the you know the home crowd cheering them on, hopefully they'll uh, produce the goods. So I think it's um, it's interesting with the the Indians quite a young team. Um, Kumari, yep. I think she's like 17 years old. Wow. So she won the gold medal individual and in the team at the Commonwealth Games last okay. year in, in India. So she's used to shooting under pressure. Yeah, I was just going to mention that when you're when you're at a Commonwealth Games or a, or a World Cup event, you understand that uh, you understand what it's uh, what it's like to be uh, like to be in this sort of competition with uh, all eyes on you and uh, a lot at stake. And, uh, in, in this case, a, a gold medal at a world championship would be a tremendous accomplishment for any of these athletes from uh, either one of these countries. In seven meetings before, Italy has defeated India four to three. Eight points. Eight points. You can hear the hush of the crowd after that result. Ten points. 26 of a possible 30 points. Now we move to target number two. You make that target Nine. number one in India. Have a great opportunity for India to increase that lead after a couple of eights by the Italians. So the wind is starting to pick up a bit in the venue. The flags are starting to move now. And you know what, despite those two eights from Italy, these two teams are tied at 128 apiece. <laughs> Ten points. Nine points. Staying in the gold with a nine. Final shot of this end. Twenty-nine of a possible thirty points, putting all the pressure on India as these two are tied, entering these last three arrows of this end. Seven, eight liner. Looking close at it, it does appear that it is a seven. Confident. 
And you really need to try and hold their nerve here and... Nine. Nine points. Not, not drift too far apart from the Italians as far as this end is concerned because there's not much time to make up. You hate to say this, Allison, but you know they may look back at that seven and, and think that was the. Uh, they haven't shot a ten for two ends now. Yeah. So, so Italy just wrapped up the majority. When you're in a gold medal matchup, it's all about the tens, and, and maybe maybe the uh, women from India feeling a little bit of the pressure. The crowd is definitely very loud after every one of those tens for Italy. Heck, we even hear it here from our broadcast friends. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a total of 153 of 180 for India. And they have an uphill battle with six arrows remaining in this gold medal matchup. 157, 153 are the totals right now. Six arrows still in play. And a lot on the line here at these 2011 World Archery Championships. To take a look at some of the highlights of that last 10, that's uh, the Italians with their last three shots hit a 29 of 30. And really solidified that lead and uh, and uh, in the driver's speak so to driver's seat so to speak entering these last six arrows category here in Torino team Italy is ahead by four points India shooting first on target one last six arrows of regulation score four point lead India will shoot first Nine. Nine. The wind is changeable here. It's, it's been coming from the, the left hand side and now it's seemingly coming from behind. Nine. And that's where we might see with the, the some of the arrows were going high. Yep. When the wind picks up. It's, it's really difficult for the archers then to know where how to aim. It's a lot easier to aim off either side, the left and right. Nine. We talked about it earlier. We talked about it earlier, but uh, you know when you're when you're getting wind uh, possibilities from three or four different directions, it really is a uh, a tricky uh, maneuver to uh, actually find the right uh, right zone. Nine. Seven points. Seven points. This match just got interesting, also. Yeah. <laughs> Here at the late stages, I should say. She has been the rock of this team. I think this her experience is really good. It's going to help the teammates and, and put in her last is it's a wise maneuver manu for the Italians. Nice. Because in, in previous teams, she she's usually the, the archer that goes first. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So. Just outside of that 10 range. Final, Final arrow of this competition for India. There's a nine. And it will be a nine. Six straight nines on the board, and we talked about it earlier that uh, when you're chasing a leader, you, you can't afford to do nines. No, you, you, need, you need to pop in a few tens. Eight. Eight points. It's interesting two arrows to go and they've gained a point. Another point. 
I believe it's a two-point uh, edge for Italy if they stick to the same numbers. Needs an eight to win a gold medal. Final shot. And she has been very impressive this morning. To win. And it's not a surprise that she nails a 10 on the final shot. Italy are the gold medal champions. Knocking off a team from India. Unbelievable performance. They are the world champions here in Torino. The team from Italy. It's a fantastic shooting at the end there. India will settle for the silver medal in this competition. But just a tremendous performance for the Italian team. Coming back to win. They talk about Allison, the, uh, the, captain, the captain of that Italian team, just leading uh, her girls to a gold medal victory. Rino really settled the team as they were having their early struggles and, and consistent tens on the board. And just, just a fantastic performance by a former world champion. Yeah, she's, she's one of the best archers in the world, you know. Ever. So, uh... She will add to it here with a team gold medal in the recurve women's event. <laughs> so it's a gap of 12 years um, since she last was on the, the gold spot for Italy in the team event. Well, welcome back to her, and uh, claiming it in her home country must be extra special. As the final scores go down in the books as a 210-207 final. A little bit of low scoring in the championship final, but uh, nonetheless, at the end of the day, a gold medal was presented. Yeah, you, you sometimes see that. You see the, uh, the scores in the bronze medal matches. It's, it's not uncommon for the bronze medal match scores to be that much higher than the gold medal match. Yeah. So officially here at the women's recurve team event, Italy.